Hello, I'm back again, and um, I'm going to do a review on some products that Curly Girl just sent me. Um, it is by Tangles and Beyond, and she had sent me the lovely little kit. Um, I got to use it uh, day before yesterday. I'm sorry, did I do my hair yet? Yesterday. Yesterday I did a wash and go. And um, uh, it started with their shampoo, and I will put a link to their website in the description bar down below. Um, it is a, because these were samples, they did not really come with uh, um, ingredients list or anything, so I kind of used them um, without even really looking it up. Um, but this is the Moisture Soak Shampoo, and this is Pure Castile Peppermint Soap, Tangles and Beyond Shea Butter Blend, Aloe Vera Gel Essential Oil Blend of Fragrance. Now, the one thing about all of their products is that all of their products, the conditioner, the detangler, everything has the Shea Butter Blend in it. So um, this is the, what the Shea Butter Blend looks like. It smells really good. It smells like rose. Um, it's a very nice uh, butter, but you have to keep in mind that every product you have that you're using, and since I didn't know this, then keep that in mind. You have to keep in mind that every product that you have that you're using has that Shea Butter Blend. Even in the shampoo, you can see the difference here. It's a little foamy at the top. I'm trying to let it settle a little bit so that maybe you can see where I have used it because I've actually used it down to like right in here. Um, but this layer right in here is the Shea Butter Blend. It is separated, as you can see, from the shampoo. So you have to shake it really good before you use it. Um, it does lather. It's a Castile soap. It lathers like crazy. It does get a thick, rich lather. And with that shea butter blend in there, um, it's like um, makes for a nice uh, co-washed feel. You feel clean, but you feel conditioned at the same time. You can feel the oils and you can feel the butters. From there, um, after I washed, and you can pretty much separate your hair and and um, detangle with the shampoo itself because the lather is so rich plus all of the oils and butters in it works out really well. After that I use the deep conditioner <clears throat> which also has a shea butter blend. This one smells like cotton candy. Um, let me give you a quick rundown of what's in there. I have to go to online to do it. The uh, conditioner is purified water, BTMS, uh, Sotero alcohol, aloe vera, and then the Tangles and Beyond blend, and then essential oils and fragrance. Now, the butter itself is raw organic shea butter, raw organic mango butter, organic extra virgin olive oil, grapeseed oil, sunflower oil, castor oil, jojoba oil, flaxseed oil, coconut oil, slippery elm bark, marshmallow root, hibiscus extract, and an essential blend of oil and fragrance. Um, so, once again, um, Lots of oils. Um, it's rich. It is a rich conditioner. Now with the uh, with the shampoo, you only need a little bit. I mean, literally a quarter size amount did my whole head. I mean, it lathered. I thought I was gonna have to pour more into my hands, so I can actually get a couple of uses out of that. I'm trying to get it closer. You can see where I used it too. I just used a small amount. Um, this is not the conditioner. I used. It just sent me two of these. She knows we go through conditioner. The other one's up in the shower. But um, it has a, let's see if I can get some out because it's really thick, as you can see, patting it. Let's see, a squeeze. See how thick that is? It's really thick. Um, I, it, that was my only thing was that I kind of felt this should be, and maybe in the big bottle, because the big bottle is a squeeze bottle, you know, because um, it's so thick. In this small container, it was a little difficult to get out, but it coats the hair really nice. Um, does it have slip? Mm, a little bit. You can do some detangling with it. Um, I wouldn't say it has a major amount of slip for that, um, but it does have some slip. And after it sits on your hair, it penetrates, and um, you're, you have a, a better detangling session afterward in the rinse out portion of it. I only let it sit on for about 30 minutes. Um, and then I rinsed it out and then I used the uh, detangler for wait I have deep conditioner this is the deep conditioner this is the one I use this is the detangler that's upstairs and it does smell like it does smell like cotton candy I smelled the right one now the detangler smells like skittles this one smells like skittles yeah and it's thick too 
um, these the, the products are really, as you can see, really thick. You gotta really shake them to get them down, which is fine. Um, I like thick, creamy consistencies. I cannot stand watery consistencies. The only thing I think should be even slightly watery would be a shampoo. Um, but the um, <clears throat> the detangler, um, it 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 doesn't really have slip. I wouldn't say it had slip. Um, a lot of times my detanglers have slip and that's what I use for my slip process when I, especially because most of my deep conditioners are treatments so they don't really have a lot of slip either since I'm trying to get some type of nourishment or strength out of them since I have such fine hair but um, I'm trying to think I think this is the dream this one has BTMS purified water and then hibiscus powder, argan oil, and the shea butter blend. Now, <clears throat> it is nice. It is good. Um, it, it is moisturizing. That's the thing. Since all of these products have that shea butter blend, and my hair on the first day was beautifully shiny. It still is. It still got a nice shine to it on the second day. But it was kind of oily. Um, it was kind of uh, oil heavy. And our, even yesterday, especially with it being hot and it being that type of time of year, it's cool today. But yesterday, with it being warm and everything, I kept having to like, you know, take something in a, a paper towel or a napkin and wipe around and wipe my neck around here because of the oils. It was just kind of melting. So in tandem all together, um, I, I know these products would be excellent for cool weather excellent for winter because they're going to hold a lot of moisture in and they're going to coat your hair very nicely. Um, as far as summer, I, as I use them, because I do like each product individually, but as I use them, I'm going to use them separately with other things that I have. As I always do, I very rarely use a whole product line in my head anyway. I always mix it up and match it up. So I'm going to play mix and match with these and um, keep working with them that way, but I really like them. Um, as far as Big, huge wow factor. I wouldn't say I had a big, huge wow factor. I would say that I do like, um, I may repurchase the detangler. And I might repurchase this shampoo. I want to use it a couple more times. I've become a shampoo bar girl. I like shampoo bars. I use Bow Beam shampoo bars. That's about all I use. But in, as far as a co-wash, because the shampoo bars I even use from Bobeam are her cleansing bars mostly. I don't use moisturizing bars. I usually don't co-wash, co-washes. I'll rinse my hair, put some real good, put some conditioner in it, and then do my, you know, rinse that out. I'll use a rinse out just to like not considering to clean my scalp, but just when I need to refresh in the middle of the week if my hair is looking dry or something like that. But this could be used in place of that to, to give some clean with it, but also to keep your hair moisturized at the same time. So I might repurchase the shampoo, but I'm going to use this a couple more times to see. The deep conditioner is nice. It is nice, but I can do with or without it. I have other deep conditioners in my stash that are HGs that, um, you know, I can, if I want slip, I got deep conditioners I can get more slip out of. If I want strength, I got deep conditioners for that, that I have more things that wow me more than this. But the detangler is something I may repurchase and the shampoo I may repurchase. I did not use the butter in itself yet because I had so much butter in my hair. I did not need to seal with anything else. So um, I had also used um, my Bass Palm Tapioca as my butter cream. Um, and maybe I'll try it next time without the bask, without that step and see how this does without a buttercream. Although I can't imagine not putting a buttercream in my hair, but I'll think about it. Anyway, that's all I have for this. I will put a link to the description bar. Um, her prices are pretty affordable. I think for her full size, um, on each one, it's $14 on each product that I mentioned. Um, she does sell the, uh, little kit. If you want to give it a try, I think the kit is $12, but I'll have links down in the description bar for you to find them and see if there's anything on there that you would like to try. Um, you have to go to the, you have to click on the picture with all of the full size products in it and it'll say $14, but that is not $14 for that kit. It'll make you think it's for all of those because she shows a lot in kits and she has like 
where you can get three of these for 25 or something like that, but um, in the full size. But you'll think it's a kit, but that's actually each individual product broken down for you. And she does tell you that the $14 means individually priced. But if you click on that, you can see all the ingredients of everything. So um, hopefully uh, this was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down below, and I will talk to you later soon. Bye-bye.